So in this tutorial, we're going to go through lens flares and also different methods of creating glows. So I created this scene just for this tutorial. I've got two sort of street lamps here and a sphere on the ground. And what I basically did is um, I created this really uh, white luminous material and just added a, I just added an omni light kind of below it to uh, make it look like this material is casting light. So that's the Omni. The settings are basically straightforward. I'm casting a ray trace shadow and also fall off a set to an inverse square physically accurate. So I'm just going to render this scene to show you uh, what it looks like. And as you can see, um, it's creating the illusion that this um, lamp is casting an actual light. Now, uh, you might want to add a bit of a kind of lens flare to this. And as you know, lens flares were quite popular uh, throughout the 90s in CGI, but uh, they seem to be making a comeback recently. And um, I'm just going to take this light here, and you'll notice a tab called Lens. So if you just click on that, this is where you can uh, create a lens flare. So I'm just going to hit Alt-R to bring up the interactive render, like this. And I'm just going to move that over here. Like that. And I'm going to add the first uh, lens flare. So if you click on inactive, you've got a wide selection of different lens flares. So I'm going to try sun. And you'll notice it uh, re renders the scene and then adds it after the rendering is done, like a post effect. So that's sun. And it seems to be quite bright. Uh, what you can also do is you can add reflexes here and those are basically those little kind of circles that come off the lens flare so if I choose say star free you can see here the effect of that and here we can see the reflex so um, here you can also control brightness you've got kind of uh, some generic settings And if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of it, you can uh, click edit here and you, you've basically got this kind of uh, detailed control panel. You can uh, control how the beams look um, like this. And um, you can add rings. Uh, you can adjust the size like that, the brightness, thickness. Uh, breaks in the beams so you've got all these kind of uh, more detailed settings and uh, the same with the reflex editor you can uh, choose like a lens type hexagon you can adjust the position slightly so so these sections are for uh, fine tune ups now um, there's different ways you can add uh, glows in Cinema 4D. As soon as you uh, play with the lens settings, the render settings automatically adds a lens effects um, option here. And you haven't got any further options, it's just, uh, it's just basically an entry. Now what we can do though is, um, I'm just going to turn off this glow. And I'm actually going to turn off the light. So what I can do is I can actually add a glow to this kind of white material as well. And that's this material here. So if I just double click it, I've also got this glow option here. So if I check that, I can add like a glow to that material. And uh, we can adjust the kind of uh, radius and strength and all that. And another thing to note is, um, by default, it uses the material color. So if the material is white, the glow is going to be white. And if you want to check this, you can set your own color. So I'm just going to go for a blue here. And as you can see, this looks a lot better. Um, in this situation, I guess the color would be orange maybe a bit brighter. So that's another method. 
the problem with this is um, it's going to apply it to all the materials. So this one would receive the same effect as well. But what you can do is you can basically copy and paste the material and then remove the glow option and then apply that to any uh, lights where you don't want the glow effect being uh, shown. So lastly, um, there is a further method. Um, if you just click on actual object, you can add a compositing tag. And I'm just going to give this an object buffer ID. So enable, I'm going to call it, uh, say, 6. If I go to my render settings, I'm just going to delete this and this, actually. If you right click, you can also add a glow here. And if I check this, I can apply this glow to a, a specific object ID. So in this case, 6. And you can basically see here that the glows applied. Um, you can see that the glows applied only to this object, like that. And um, you've got a few settings to adjust here as well. So intensity, uh, size, um, glow edges. Just gonna have a look at that. There you go. So that's a very brief introduction to uh, lens effects and glows and uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, thanks for watching.